Yes, everyone. So, basically, I'm fond. Like, I'm just doing, like, these videos to, like, just... I don't know. Just make things a bit more normal, innit? It's quite obviously. Or majority of the time, I'm just sending tunes and that. So, these videos, it's just to, like, touch on subjects that's happening right now. Like, uh, things that might be important to you, important to me. Things that, like, have caused me to be the way I am, like, musically or whatever. And, yeah, like, that's just... That's just what I'm going to be doing these things for. So, that's just brief introduction. So, like, this one, today, is just going to be about me, how I started, and, like, my opinion on the Nottingham scene, basically. Like, some man might agree, some man might not. So, like, this is where we, we create a discussion, in it. So, funds... I started when I was 13. To me, like, that's it's a bit of a late time to start spitting, but <laughs> you start when you start, innit? So I started, but, like, majority of my brethren was already spitting, like, by these times. Like, been spitting from year seven. I started in... Well, yeah, they were spitting from year seven, some, like, even before, like, year six. And then I started spitting in year eight. Yeah, year eight. So, like, I had a few, few people, like, that I know now that went to my school. Man, like, for Diz, man, like, MK, like, and they're just two names, and them two, for me, like, top of their game to do their thing you get me so like these are the sort of people that i had around me in it so like you just start doing your thing and what i clocked is like back in the day when i was younger a lot of people a either just like did it as a hobby like it won't it won't like for a career or not and like two is like mum was real protective of like their spot if you know what I mean like if you was good or anything like mum would try and make you feel like you shit <laughs> like I don't know that might have just been the the environments I was in and that so yeah that's how it was so I'm doing my thing like, I probably took it seriously when I was about 15. So I started when I was 13, doing it, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to do it properly when I was 15. At that point, like, like I'm fast-forwarding bare things, but obviously, like, it's, it's not majorly important, in it? So, 15, like, times when you're doing your options, um, what's the other one? Work experience all of that so work experience this is how I can touch on certain things so for my work experience I did it at CRS Russell Youth Club all tight Trev Nick Stez the whole whole crew you get me so one thing that I clocked from young whether it is like take one CRS or whatever obviously these these things are youth clubs in it in specific areas so take one if you know that one's in radford crs russell youth club that's st anne's like so obviously the kids that come there are predominantly from the area and like it makes sense that you help the kids from the area that it's actually in before like some like outsiders you know what i mean obviously that's that's what i am to them generally so, like, did my did my work experience with CRS and it's one of them. Like, it was it was a good experience. Like, the welcome man in and that. But obviously, like over time, I like realized like 
this ain't my space, you know what I mean, like, you don't really, you don't, you don't have no say in the place, in a way, because you're not from the area, if you know what I mean, so, even, like, after I did my work experience, like, I still, I still went back to CRS and, like, would check, check in and that, like, record, I'm sure I recorded a couple of tunes there or whatever, a tune or two, like, checking in, just seeing how things are and that, and, like, I'm not sure how old I'm, I would have been around these times, probably about 16, probably about 16 these times, and I just, like, realised, like, I need to step out in it, car basically, of it, alright, places like Take One and CRS, because you can record and do your thing for free obviously it's in air, like council areas and that so majority of the kids ain't actually got money to be booking studios and doing their thing so obviously your kids from the area you booking in the studio sorry about the phone but yeah booking in the studio like and you're kind of last resort like after these men have dealt with their thing you kind of get checked in uh, no complaints in it but that's when I realized that I needed to go find like other outlets to do my thing in it so I uh, doing my thing found different producers different producers and or engineers or whatever like these times like this is when man I just got setups in the yard still like Man ain't really going to studio. Like man, I got setups in the yard. Man, give man a price. Man, go through in it. Like uh, so, like uh, I can remember like uh, one situation. Like I'm right now. I'm just fast tracking through, fast tracking through. Like anybody wants me to like delve deeper into certain things, just like leave a comment or whatever, and I can touch on it some more. But this is just like a brief overview into why I took certain decisions, made certain decisions, and why I'm the way I am in music, and why people might think I'm the way I am. Like because I feel like I'm I'm a bit like misunderstood sometimes. So okay. There was a producer, like, this is kind of the one that, like, changed my outlook on how I need to do my thing in it. There was a producer called Pubman Beats. I don't business if, like, his brethren's are on my shit. He's a... <laughs> Let me just keep it there. Soggy guy, you get me from? So, like, man of... Man have booked hours with this guy. Man are all recording tunes with him, all of this, like and we're in like we've we've paid for like a certain amount of hours. We haven't used up all the hours. So obviously we've got hours like we're kinda in credit sort of thing. We've got tunes, so obviously we could have used them hours for mixing, mastering, whatever. This guy ups and left disappeared off the face of the earth, left the city with all of our tunes, because it wasn't just mine, it was like the Mandem's tunes as well, left with all our tunes, and like, we was, we was in credit, like, for hours, in it. So we lost that on hours, like, so that situation there just made one thing, okay, like, we can't, we can't be relying on these guys no more, innit? Like, these guys are just soggy, innit? But before I ended up getting my own setup, and I gotta give a big shout to Blunts, like, it was the time when I think, was it, was it New Camp? I think it was the crew that, like, Warico started up, like, with the youngers and that. I think it was Newcomb. It was at their studio. 
but like Blunt had a like his own slot in there and had man in there. So for a good while we was going through there and dealing with the matter. Like he dealt with man properly, proper hours, dealing with it. The only thing with that is it was expensive. Like man are going to studio, like I'm booking like I think it used to be like four hours at a time. Then obviously man them smoke. So man are coming through with pack. Like bro, like just just checking man on a one away, I can just be dashing away sixty pound one time. But obviously I'm doing this every week. So in a month time I'm dashing out like two forty, two fifty, maybe more, maybe less, like but all of that was coming out of my pocket every month. So obviously like it's not cost effective like it's just rinsing my money so like but and let me just say around all this time like i just worked with my fam and that it was like it's just like cbf thing sort of thing i'm not even sure if it was that fully established but it was like just my people's in it it's not like i've got anything against man in knots or like anything like that why man have never worked like man have just never been in the same surroundings, same studio, never met certain people properly, like whatever the case may be in it, like but it's never been down to like man have got problems with this guy and that guy or I don't know about other people, they might might not like me, might it was to say, I don't know. But for me, I was literally working with my people them, innit? Like, the people them I have around me, trying to help them, car. that's who I know. So, obviously, back to the story. It was at that studio, did that. Um, I was there for a, for a good while. Like, I'd probably have to say I started going there when I was... Probably about 18. Yeah, maybe about 18. And finger. Did that for about a year. Was at that studio for about a year. Then after that, I bought my own set. Well, well, during the time I was working. So, like a year down the line, I bought my own set up. Like, which I still got to this day. I just need to get certain things and it's back up and running. Like, upgrade the odd thing here and there maybe. But yeah, like, I, I invested in my own self. And then off the back of that, that's where nobody's seen me. <laughs> that's where everyone just stopped seeing me, really. Like, because I was working on my team. Like, just doing my work and coming home recording and doing what I'm doing in it like literally like the life mixtape all recorded from my own setup in my yard vibes mixtape all recorded from my own setup in my yard um I even dropped like a a tape with like Riddler like on all Riddler's beats all of them recorded in my yard on my own setup like there's bear tunes out there that like was recorded from my own setup, but it's because of all the setbacks that man had to go through beforehand. Why man made that decision in it, and obviously I could have hollered at people say, "Oh, like come, let's work in that." But the things in my yard, and like I had more than enough people to like be working with at the time, so like I wasn't really watching working with people in it like some people might have thought oh Fonz is anti he's anti-social he don't don't want to work with people very 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 man don't see him out like them times I was literally working working and then weekend time I'm more time recording them and them like as real as that like I wasn't a bat and then off the back of that I started working weekends so obviously when all the week that the events are happening on the weekend you're not seeing funds because I'm working bro 
but the people that used to be out in town and <laughs> know what I was doing, like, they used to see me working. Like, that's what it was, isn't it? But, like, th this is just, like, part one. I'm going to just lock this off and I'm going to come back in it.